Here's a ball just rolling down at constant speed. Ooh. The three forces acting on the ball are its weight, contact force to normal to the slope, and also friction. This is interesting. You know, co constant speed means equilibrium. And equilibrium means there is no net force. It means all the forces should form a closed triangle, like all these ones down here. Okay, anyway, which diagram should represent these forces? First step, let's let's draw the forces. There is weight. Weight is always down towards the center of the earth. So this could be W. Weight. Right, this one, weight. Now contact force. Mm, contact force would be the one that is perpendicular to the surface or something like this. Yeah, that's what we call this. Normally we use normal contact force or uh, N. Uh. Okay, this one is perpendicular to the surface. The last one they say is friction. Okay, so let's put here contact force, normal, and friction we use orange color. Lah. Friction, how do we know which direction is pointing to? It will always oppose motion. So let me write a note here. Oppose motion. So if your ball is rolling down the slope, that means your friction is pointing up the slope. This, I'm going to use small f as friction, okay? So ball is having some velocity rolling down. Okay, so from here, we need to see which is which, what is what. Um, let's start with weight. We need a long downwards weight. So I assume this is weight, 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 weight. Okay, sure, no problem with weight. Friction, pointing to the top left in that direction. This one is wrong already, wrong direction. Ah, this one could be friction. This is wrong direction. This one, yes, can be friction. So we cancel out B and uh, A and C. Last two. Normal contact force. Which is the correct direction based on our diagram above? Mm, it looks almost the same. Leh. Means this one, also okay. This one, also okay. So what is the difference between B and D? We scratch our head and we're like, mm, uh -huh. Here's one hint. You notice know, this this thing here, right angle. So the for the angle between friction and normal contact force should be perpendicular. So we need to see, is is uh is this perpendicular, or is this perpendicular? Which one looks more convincing? You kind of have to eyeball it lah. So from my eyeball, I don't think this 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 one looks. This is ninety degree. So this is some angle theta that is not perpendicular. So nope, it's out. Now, the other one on the right side, D, behind on top of my head here. This one looks mm, perpendicular. If you're not convinced, take a protractor. Go and measure this one up here. Okay, so best choice here, D. Yeah. B and D, very close fight. But D is the best choice for this vector question. Okay, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.